Hey, what's up, people? It's so cool. Uh, this is the first installation of my my stories celebrity encounters. So, way back in the day when I was in high school, <clears throat> probably like 17 years old, I was in Manhattan. I went to high school um a few different places since I moved around so much, but um I was in Manhattan at in Times Square, which I frequented very much when I lived in New York because I love Times Square. And um, I would go to Virgin Megastore, which is no longer there. It's like four different stores now. It's like the Disney Store and a Forever 21 and some other bullshit. But um, it used to be the Virgin Megastore, which was like my hangout. Like I loved the Virgin Megastore so much. It was like three floors. There was a bookstore, a record store, a uh, clothing store. It had so much shit in it. And I don't even know if Virgin Megastores exist anywhere. But I guess if they took it out of Times Square, then they took that shit out everywhere. That's how I feel about it. But I don't know. I would go in there just because they had all the sample music. I would go in there, listen to the music, vibe out, people watch, get some books, you know, whatever. Uh, so I would have a whole experience in the Virgin Megastore. And it's across the street from MTV Studios, which is 1515 whatever the fuck. Um, but it's across the street from MTV Studios. So if you used to watch TRL and all that stuff way back in the day, I don't even know if TRL still comes on. This is how out of it I am, y'all. So it's across the street. I am in the store, and whatever Boys to Men album was out at the time, I'm sitting there listening to it, listen to it, listening to it, listening to it. Let's learn to enunciate, people. Uh, listening to it, and I had the little speakers on. And it's funny, as much of a germaphobe as I was, I would still put some damn headphones on, and Lord knows who the hell else had them shits on. Whatever. So I was in there, I was jamming, because I'd never cared. Like, I'd be in public blasting my music in my ears and dancing on the train and walking down the street, fucking, like, I didn't care. It didn't matter to me. Like, that was my thing. Music was my escape. It was my fantasy. It was everything. And when I was in my music, like, nothing else mattered. I didn't care. So I was there listening to the whole album. I was just grooving, like getting it in. I don't even remember what album it was, to tell you the truth. Uh, but it was a Boyz II Men album. I know that. And I even remember where I was standing in the store when it happened. And I'm jamming. And I feel, you know how like you're standing and you feel like somebody's watching you? And I felt that. But I was just like, fuck it. People are probably staring at me because I'm sitting here wilding out like I ain't got no damn sense in the fucking Virgin Mega store. So I'm jamming, jamming, and I'm like, somebody, somebody is obviously like, I'm looking, like, you know, and I see, like, somebody standing behind me, like, just staring. So I finally, and I'm just like, I'm going to keep jamming, but I want to turn around and see what's going on, because, you know, I got to protect the back. You got to protect the back. So I turn around, and I'm like, I go deaf. Mind you, this music is blasting in my fucking ears, and I am looking... And I am like, all the spit dried up in my mouth. I was that nothing. I, I was just, I was like here. I was like, blank, blank. And who the fuck is sitting here staring at me but Kelly Rowland? Not even like, not even, like, she was in, I could have reached out and grabbed her. That's how close she was to me. Staring at me, and I look at her, and I'm like, I almost died. And she starts laughing, <laughs> and she's, like, smiling at me and laughing. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't say anything. I, I don't think I said anything. But I'm just in my head. I'm, like, freaking out. I'm like, this is fucking Kelly Rowland. She is, like right there, this is, say my name, say my name, fucking Kelly Rowland, who I'm at home blasting her album all the fucking time, Kelly Rowland, Beyonce and Michelle, Kelly Rowland, Latavia and that other chick who they kicked out the fucking group, Kelly Rowland, fucking Kelly Rowland, now currently Motivation Kelly Rowland, and the sexy slinky video Kelly Rowland, but back then she was Beyonce's background Kelly Rowland, she was first tier background, not like Latavia and um, Latoya, who was second tier background they were yeah and but at, this was the time after that when they kicked um Latavia and Latoya out the group and it was just Michelle 
And and they kicked um they went through that Farrah chick and the other no Michelle it was Michelle and Farrah and they kicked the Farrah chick out, right? Yeah, yeah that sounds right. Mind you, she had to be staring at me for like a good minute or so, like for a while, because I knew she was back there, but I didn't know who it was. I'm just like, who the fuck is sitting here staring at me, like while I'm getting my groove on? And I turn around, this fucking Kelly Rowland, and I'm like, am I? She was kind of she's kind of tall. She wasn't short. Maybe I just, she just seemed tall. Maybe she had on some real high heels. I don't remember. But she was gorgeous. She was beautiful. Like, I swear to you. Like, she was beautiful. And she looked me right in my face. She was looking at me. She's just, like, laughing and smiling. So, anyway, she walks towards me. And I'm still, like, frozen. But at this point, I think I'm, like, Cheshire Cat, like, grinning. Like, ah! You know? And she walks towards me and goes on about her business. And I'm like, did anybody else just see that? Like, what, 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 huh, huh? So I see her go towards, um, Michelle. I see Michelle off in the distance. And, and I see this big ass fucking security guard. And he's with Michelle. Kelly was by herself. There was no security guard with her. So I guess they only had the one security and he was with Michelle. So I'm like, where the fuck is Beyonce? Where, where's Beyonce? Like, what the fuck? So I go... And I take off the earphones and I run to the payphone. This is before I had a cell phone. I run to the payphone, put the money in the phone, and I call my best friend. And I'm like, oh my God, guess what I just saw? Guess what I just saw? And she's like, what? Who? Who did you see? Who did you see? And I'm like, I just saw Kelly Rowland. Kelly and Michelle. I just saw Kelly. She's like, was Beyonce there? I was like, no, Beyonce. I didn't see Beyonce. She might be in the store. She's like, why the fuck are you on the phone with me? I was like, right. <laughs> and then I ran back in the store. And I go, I go to go up to Kelly, and the security guard was like, nah, nah, son, back up. I was like, no, but we were just, like, no, but we, but he's like, no, no. And Kelly didn't see me, and I'm like, but, yo, like, like we homies, we was just chilling, we just had a thing. And he's like, nah, son, nah, beat it, beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, no one wants to, okay, I'm gonna stop. But, um, yeah, so that's my... Uh, not my first celebrity experience, but one of my celebrity encounters that I thought was kind of interesting to start this whole realm of my stories off with. Uh, so that is that. If you have any celebrity encounters that don't leave you in the fucking dark, um, that you'd like to share with me, post those down below, uh, do a video response, like this video, one-up it, uh, all types of shit, so... Love you, people. Deuces. And I apologize about the light. And now this shit want to get right now that we're getting off and shit, right? Okay. I see you. You see this shit? Anyway. Hey, what's up, people? It's so cool. Uh, yeah. Blind as hell. And so... I'm like, whoa, I see her and Michelle, and I'm like, wait, I see Michelle, I see this big-ass fucking security guard, what the hell just happened with my light? Hold on. Damn, clouds, stay fucking up my videos. But anyway.